Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is Queen K in my humble kitchen uh, representing my store, Man Must Black, located in downtown Oakland, California. And this is our cooking channel, Man Must Wax cooking channel, and today we'll be making okra soup. I'm joined here by my wonderful mother, Wanman Florence, and that is also known as Big Bummy uh, by most of our store patrons. And she's going to be leading this uh, program today. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. Thank you all. We're going to start by introducing the ingredients that we need to make this okra soup. First and foremost, this is a pound of goat meat. Traditionally, this is what we use in Africa or in Nigeria to make most of our soups that are delicacies. Um, you can use beef, you can use chicken, you can use the combination of both, or if you don't like meat, you can still use fish. So we're going to start cooking the meat while we're prepping the other ingredients. The other ingredients that we have we have one medium sized onions. We have here our native palm oil. And we also have olive oil. You can use this by itself for this sauce. Or you can use the olive oil if you are health conscious. Or you can do a combination of both because this is what gives it the African flavor. We also have here red bell pepper. And we have uh, fresh Roma tomatoes. We have ground crayfish. We have salt. We have bouillon cubes, or Maggi cubes as they are popularly called. And then we have the main ingredients for the day, which is okra. Optional items, we have stockfish. Some people like to use the stockfish. Some people do not. And you can also add smoked African fish for flavor if you want to. We have the famous Cameroon pepper. This pepper is out of this world in flavor and spiciness. Okay, so while we are boiling the meat, we'll go ahead and prep this other stuff in a way that you will see how they are used in making this soup. This is the main ingredient for this our sauce today because like you know, it's okra sauce or Americans will call it okra gumbo but you've never tasted an okra gumbo like this before so stay with us now I'm going to start chopping it it depends on you some people chop it this way just big like this and others will want it a smaller so they will slice it vertically first and then they will start chopping but whichever way you want to do it is up to you as long as it's what you want. So you start chopping the okra. Okay? Now we are going to season the meat because without seasoning, it will taste bland when we are ready to add our sauce. So you just put a flat spoon of salt and also another level teaspoon of the Cameroon pepper and my, if you don't have Cameroon pepper in your house or around you you can use any other pepper but if you have the luxury please use the Cameroon pepper because it's just simply the best yes, and uh, store by our store and, uh, we have it at the store Remember, this is a pound of goat meat. Depending on you, you can use two pounds. But this is just a serving for four. We are today making this sauce to serve four people very conveniently. So 
take note. You might increase the quantity or decrease it to your taste. Now we are going to start the sauce on another pan. Note that we had this pan totally dried up, no water. About a quarter cup of palm oil and an equal size of olive oil. Okay. Also note that everything we need has been cut. This is the chopped okra. Ready. The two tomatoes chopped, ready. The medium sized onion is chopped and ready. The red bell pepper is chopped and ready. And uh, we also have the stock fish already cooked or softened depending on what you want to do. If you want it softer, you cook for a while. If you want it to still have that chewiness, then you can just soak it in water and cook with it after all. Okay, now, the oil is ready. A combination of palm oil and olive oil. And to that, we are going to add the onions. That's about a one, uh, one, one medium-sized onions. Remember that our goat meat is still cooking. I'll let you know in a few minutes how, how long, well, um, cook it until it's tender, tender to your own taste. Some people like their meat very soft, some people like their meat medium soft. I like my own soft but still chewy. So as soon as you think your meat is done to your taste, you turn the light off. After I add the onions, I add the red bell pepper. And then I saute the two, or together with the tomatoes. I add the two Roma tomatoes. Recall that the Roma tomatoes were medium sized. We are doing this for to serve uh, four people. Okay? Or two very hungry people. Or two very <laughs> hungry African men. Okay? So you begin, you mix all the ingredients and allow that to simmer for like 10 minutes. Okay? Simmer on for 10 minutes. A medium temperature. Oh, that's beautiful. Mom. That looks really beautiful. And healthy. And it's healthy too. So you add mm. the pepper and the salt to taste. Just a teaspoon to start with and then as you go on you taste and if you need to add more you can do so. Again you add just a wee little bit of pepper. I don't know how much spicy you like your food but some people like it very spicy. They add more. Some people like it just just to give them that uh, flavor, they add a little, okay? So, remember that I showed you Maggi Cube. Maggi Cube or Bullion Cube. Take out the wrap. <laughs> I use one or sometimes I use two. But for this small quantity, I use only one. I unwrap it and I put it in this little mortar here and I crush it. I crush it until it's in powdered form. And if you don't have a mortar you can just you know crush it with a spoon against the hard clean surface or with your hands. But if you happen to have this you're about to have every little particle in there. Okay now the no. maggi has also gone into the sauce. I'm getting very, very hungry. What are we eating tonight, Mom? 
This is a very important question. What do you eat with your okra gumbo? Some people use it on top of uh, mashed potato or some people eat it with fufu. Fufu is a very popular African food and that's actually what most people use it to use to eat it. And some people like to eat the pounded yam, the gari, uh, semolina, semovita, whatsoever. Even some, to use. Rice. some even oh. use whole wheat, mm -hmm. oatmeal, oatmeal fufu, oatmeal fufu, powdered oatmeal. They blend it and turn it until it gets into fufu, and they eat it. And these are all traditional, mm -hmm. whatever suits your fancy you use it well, the most important thing is that all these things i have mentioned can be found in man must work african caribbean food market in downtown oakland 547 8th street our phone number is 510-444-2841 awesome and of course if you have a party and you're not able to cook for more than a few people, mom does some incredible catering uh, for many of our patrons that want um, certain dishes or pastries. Alright, is it time for the crayfish? As soon as the sauce becomes a little bit pasty, or uh, it's all blended, as you can smell it, very good. Then you can add the crayfish. The important thing is not to get anything on this menu overcooked because we want to maintain and retain the nutritional value of it. The crayfish is about half a pound of crayfish ground. Half a pound of crayfish ground. And you just some people might want a quarter of a pound if you don't like very fishy taste and some people might want it, you know, more of crayfish. Okay? Good. Okay. Now you see the stockfish strips that were already tenderized. Those ones can go in now. If I don't wait till the last minute to add all these ingredients because I want them to suck in the flavors. So I put that also and I turn them in and allow the everything to simmer. Allow everything to simmer. Okay. And we have to soak that for about an hour to soften it before cooking, right? Yes. And you can also okay. cook it if you, if you want to spend time doing that. I don't want to add a broth from somewhere else. So you see I'm taking from the goat broth to continue to simmer my sauce. I am getting from the goat meat broth to simmer my sauce. Okay, so you cover it and allow it to simmer for like five minutes. The okra is going to be the very last ingredient to go in because you want it to maintain its crunchiness. Okay, viewers, now it's time for us to combine the goat meat with the sauce because the goat meat is tender enough to my taste. And then I use a spoon to turn it around so that they will all come together. And that looks so beautiful yum. and I know it will taste very yummy. The next and the last thing is the main ingredient. Okra. Very, very healthy and rich. Okra is the next yum. ingredient. So there it goes into the sauce. Oh my goodness. 
This is so good. Can't wait to. And so healthy looking. So what are we going to eat this one with? What do you think, Gary? Well, whatever you want to eat with this, it's up to you. For me, right now, I just feel like scooping a, a little portion into a bowl and doing some little justice to it. I'll just take it with spoon. It's just as good. So after you put the okra, you just cover it up and allow it to simmer for five minutes only. Five minutes only. And then you are good to go. Whatever you want to do with it, if you want to just uh, put, scoop it into a bowl and eat it like that, or you want to use it for, with fufu, or yam, or plantain, even some people eat it with rice, and they enjoy it. So, the choice is yours. Thank you for viewing. Alright, so you know that this okra uh, is highly uh, rich in dietary fiber, and very, very healthy, nutritional. It has a lot of nutritional um, values. So, you know, if you're, you know, low in protein or iron or fiber, this is the right uh, sauce for you. And um, it's very healthy, again, I can't stress that enough. And mom made this very simple in less than an hour, uh, overall cooking time, right? Actually, if you have your meat and, and the stockfish ready, then it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes altogether. If your meat is already tenderized and uh, ready to go and you have every other ingredient chopped up, it should not take you more than 30 minutes to get this soup on the way. Thank you. All right, so subscribe for more. Uh, Ooh, wow. Because we'll have a lot more uh, weekly meals that we'll be cooking. So make sure you subscribe. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Imagine that wow. just going down. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.